Hello, I'm Nigel Spence and I'm coming to you from my backyard of my restaurant, Ripe Kitchen and Bar in Mount Vernon, New York. And today I'm going to teach you how to boil a crab in a pot. Well, first, boiling a crab is very easy. It's very little time to boil crabs, especially these crabs. These are the smallest crabs you're probably going to ever end up boiling. These are Chesapeake Bay blue crabs. Crabs come in all sizes and shapes, but these are the most popular and the easiest to cook and the fastest to cook. Uh, these crabs probably take about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the size. At certain times of the year, you can get crabs that are these same blue crabs that are maybe almost twice the size. And so those may take about 20 minutes to cook, uh, 20 to 25 minutes. Crabs of this size, maybe about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's very simple. The most important part about cooking a crab is what's going into the water that's going to boil the crabs. So you want to have the pot seasoned very well with all wonderful ingredients to make your crab very, very tasty. Uh, today, I'm going to use one of, the, one of the first ingredients that I use is probably the ingredient that's in every crab boil around the country. This is Old Bay seasoning. Very salty, very spicy, and gives a really nice undertone of uh, uh, earthy flavors. Um, we also have here garlic, uh, chopped garlic. Cannot have a good crab boil without garlic. We have one getting away over here. They're very feisty today and you have to have lots of salt. Uh, for about two this recipe is for about two gallons of water and for about a dozen crabs. And so for a, a two gallons of water, you wanna use about a cup of kosher salt. You wanna use about a three quarters of a cup of chopped garlic and about a third of a cup of the Old Bay seasoning. Just to take it up a notch, I also like to use Scotch, Jamaican and Scotch bonnet peppers. So if you don't want the heat to be too much, you don't have to cut into the peppers. You can just put them in the pot as they are. I would only use one. And to top it all off, I would also like to use a little bit of lemons with lemon juice. So from here, we're just going to go ahead and get them in the boiling pot of water. I'm going to get these ingredients in there. Again, I'm Nigel Spence, and I'm coming to you from the backyard of my restaurant, Ripe Kitchen and Bar in Mount Vernon, New York. Thank you.